हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू पी एम नेटवर्किंग होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गेस्ट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू डे टू डे टास्क ऑफ एवरी आई टी प्रोफेशनल्स नेटवर्क इंजीनियर्स एंड सिस्टम एडमिन दीज आर मोस्ट कॉमन टास्क एवरी आई टी प्रोफेशनल परफॉर्म्स इन साइड एक्टिव डायरेक्ट्री सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू आई टी इंडस्ट्री देन मास्टिंग दिस टास्क will make your life much easier what we will see today in this video we'll see how to find user in active directory how to reset password for a particular user how to unlock user account how to create new user how to disable or enable user account how to add user in security policy security group how to check group membership how to move user to correct ou organizational unit how to create edit or delete group policy and then how a computer join domain means how you can manage computer account so without wasting our time let's start here you can see this is my active directory and if i will show you my domain then you can see my domain is pm.local this is my local domain on active directory active directory is already installed so the most common task that every it professional does in company at work is finding user in active directory you need to find user in active directory for that just click on tool and go to active directory user and computers right so here is my active directory users and computers interface here only you need to find users right first find your domain here you can see my domain pm.local this is my domain here inside this domain i need to find one user right let's suppose user name is praful and even you don't know the full name as spelling you know user from p r a p right so you can search with name right so to search user inside your domain in active directory what you will do and guys this is most common task this is one of the first thing every engineer does every day right so just open active directory users and computers then click on your domain right click on your domain and here you can see find option so click on find and find your user with name let's suppose uh, neha neha is one employee in my company so i am going to search neha you can see here i got the account user right even if i will i will type only ne and find new if i am going to click here you can see it is going to give me the all users whose name is with this two letter right n and e you can see neha and one is network config okay so i am talking about this user neha mishra okay so this is common task and how you can do this just click on your domain first open active directory users and computers click on your domain right click on your domain then click on find and find users with domain name from here you can check the status of this user simply you will double click on this user and it will open a new tab for you and here you can see the status right the account is lock or unlock you can see this account is unlock if you want to reset the password from here only you can reset the password also so this is one of the most common task of um, it professional every it professionals every day if you are the working professional if you are the system engineer you must know this okay now here in the status you can see many things are there like i can check member of this user is member of which group right this mem um, this user is member of which group this this user is exactly in my domain you can see right it is part of my domain only you can check organizational unique unit if it is not part of any organizational unit you can put it in correct organizational unit now this is first task let, let me close it for now now second task the second most common task right in 99% cases it professionals do this in company at work that is resetting password for user right see let's suppose user has forget their password right and user has created the ticket let i forget my password please reset the password and you are the uh, system admin so you have to reset password for users to 
reset the password again first of all you have to find user and now you know how to find user another option to find user is like you can go to OU you can see my organizational unit is IT team after that one organizational unit is there with PM networking right here I can find the users let's suppose I'm talking about this user Neha Mishra and mm, this user is requesting for password reset he forget their password right so what you will do you will uh, click on right click on the user and here you can see the reset password option right find user first how you can find user here I can find user I can say Neha Mishra right here is my user you can click over here or just right click over here and reset your password you can see the reset option reset password click on reset password and type the new password let's say new password is um, um, Neha at Mishra at the rate one two three. Let me correct it. Sorry. Neha Mishra at the rate one two three four five for an example. Repeat the password. Neha Mishra at the rate one two three four five and say okay. You can see it is giving me the error, right? Because the password can't have the name username right so let me uh, set another password here click on user and reset password again and this time i'm going to get another password let's say cisco at the rate one two three four five and cisco at the rate one two three four five even you can recover the password you can see the password now you can see password is successfully changed for Neha Misra, now you can share the new password with this user. So this is again another common task in 99% cases, even in 100% cases, IT professional does this in the company. Okay, so now user can get password and they can log in. For an example, here is the user and this user was complaining like, like he, he has created the ticket that I forget my uh, username. So now this user can try to log in. now it is asking for the uh, password right but username is different let me change it other user here i can say i think it was neha at the rate pm dot local the name and the password which i have created is right i think username is different so this way you can join new pa okay it is asking to change the password because for this user i had set uh, user must change password in their first login okay so now neha can set their own password right so i have given the password which um, um, after resetting and now neha can set their own password let's suppose he set one new password and repeat the password And say okay and now you can see password has been changed now she can log in and now you can see she got logged in even on active directory you can find this user like where you can find this user let me show you that Again, in Active Directory users and computers, if you will check computers here, open it and you can see this user. This is the user. This is the PC name of this user. If I will show you the PC, this PC. Right. If you will go to properties, you can see the username of this PC. okay so from here you can even delete the computer right so two computers has logged in to my domain now the another common task again i am going to click on my domain the another common task third common task in um, um, first task was finding user second task resetting the password third task is unlocking an user account let's suppose if someone enter wrong password too many times right 
they tried wrong password too many times and the account get locked again user is going to create ticket for their um, unlock account right and you have to unlock account of the user so see let's suppose again i am going to find user first let's suppose this time it is vivek v i v a k vivek and he forget the password okay so right click on no not forget the password he tried wrong password multiple time that's why his account is locked so when you will click on this user right click on this user then you can see disable account disable is again another thing not i am talking about disabling and uh, enabling i am talking about account lock so double click on it then click on account and here you can see the option unlock account right so sometime you will see like this account is locked right so you have to unlock it right you have to unlock it apply it and say okay like this you can unlock account for users this is again one of the common task that every it professionals does in uh, companies at work the fourth task is enabling or disabling users let's suppose uh, an employee leaves the company right and you need to disable the account right so again what you will do you will right click on the user and here you, you have simply option to disable the account simply say disable now you can see vivek misra has been disabled right now you can again enable the account right neha search again right click on it and enable it if see now enable option is there enable account enable again neha can um, again this account is enabled now a fifth common task is creating a user creating user to create user here you can see user is there simply right click on it and uh, click on new and then you can create new user from here if you want to create user new user inside the ou you can do that go to ou and here just right click and then click click on new and then select users right for an example i am going to create one new users inside it team uh, ou so let me click on new and here i am going to say user it will ask you for username username is let's suppose uh, admin and last name admin or i can say another name let's suppose karan last name is let's suppose kumar karan kumar so full name is going to be karan kumar what will be the login name karan at the rate pm dot local right so this is my domain and this is the name of user let me say next now it is asking you to create password password is let's say 12345 repeat password and say next and here you can see make sure you will tick this one right user must change password at next login right at next login user can create their own password right if you want user can't change password then just tick it mark this option right password should never expire then mark this one and if account is disabled mark this option and then say next and finish now you can see i have created one new user inside it team okay so if like uh, example in hr onboarding ad user creation is mandatory right and this is how you will create a new users inside the ou right you can also create user directly over here then you can move that let's suppose th here is one guest user and i want to move this user in pm networking ou so right click on it and move and then after that you can select the ou like i want to move in pm networking so pm networking and say okay now you can see user is moved from user to pm networking here you will find the guest you can see right now the next sixth common task of every it professional is adding a user to a security group see what is security group security group control permission like server access shared folder vpn access right etc so to add user in a group you let me show you how you can create the group as well so see right click on your ou 
and then new and this time I'm going to create a group group name let's suppose PM networking admin or senior staff PM network admin right uh, local domain group scope local domain and say okay right so you can see this is what this is group PM net is a group these are users right here you can see the type which and which one is user which one is security group I want to uh, put Neha in PM net security group for an example so right click on this user and add to group and now search your group group is PM let's suppose I'm searching with name PM only check this name and here you can see I have two security group with PM okay so I'm going to add it this user in PM net admin um, uh, security group say okay and then okay now you can see add to group operation was successfully completed right so we have successfully added this user Neha Mishra in PM net admin security group right now seventh common task is checking group membership right means to verify what access a user has right for that just open the account let's suppose Neha Misra I have account open the account and check member of that this user is member of which group so this user is member of PM networking admin group this tells you all groups and permissions assigned to this user right the Neha Mishra Neha Mishra has what access what they can access and uh, what group you have assigned right based on group you can configure the security policy now the another common task which usually we does in the production is moving a user to a correct OU for an example uh, say okay here and let's suppose Praful Mishra Praful Mishra should be in IT team right in IT OU so just click on move right click on the user and then move to and then OU then OU and you can see now under IT team Praful Misra is there right the another uh, common task of IT professional is working with group policies right so for group policies you can again click on uh, tools and here you will find somewhere group policy here you can see group policy management click on it and here you can see uh, my domain and inside my domain I can create group policy right create group policy define the name right let's say PM net okay right here is my group policy inside this domain you can see this one is my group policy you know like whatever policies I am going to configure or assign to this group policy will be applicable for everyone who are part of this group policy right from here we can add as well let's say PM I'm searching PM and here is my two group right so let me select PM net say ok now you can see PM net is part of this security group object right so whatever permission you have uh, set here that will be applicable for all the users or computers member of this OU okay so guys here I don't want to configure group policy management or uh, the active directory right here I just want to show you some important and common task that every IT professional do in the companies at their work day by day and these 10 are the most common task which every IT professional network engineer system admin right does in the companies hope it is clear to you if you like this video if the video was helpful for you please hit on like button if you are new on the channel if you have not subscribed this channel till now please subscribe this channel we'll meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye that's all for today and if you need a detailed video on active directory just let me know in the comment section definitely i will make one detailed video on active directory thank you so much for watching